TSM Daquan was once one of the funniest and most entertaining players in the Fortnite Pro scene, hitting clips and having moments like these. He even managed to create strats such as the very famous double pump meta, and he was one of the earliest to discover the broken sniper shotgun meta. His rise to fame was quick, to say the least. He was one of the best solo verse squad players and would continuously dominate in almost every game. But then, he disappeared. Seemingly out of nowhere, he went from on top of the world to gone. So what really happened? We are looking at the whole story of Daquan to figure out the reason behind his mysterious disappearance. While playing squads one day, he had left the fill option on, which ended up putting him on the same team as the popular streamer Dakota. Dakotas would go on to see the incredible skill set of Daquan, and after seeing this, he got Daquan into the early Fortnite Invitational competitive scene. This got him into the first few practice skirmishes that were going on at the time, and Daquan lived up to expectation. He ended up winning quite a few of these games, putting him in the spotlight of several other content creators' viewers. He was also watched by loads of people, not just because of how good he was, but also because of how funny he was. He had loads of funny catchphrases and just the way that he talked. This was super entertaining for the audience. But Daquan was not just a content creator, and this would be proven after he got the world record for most kills in a game. In this, he killed 39 people, marking him down in history for being one of the best players in Fortnite history. And as you can imagine, this grew his content even more. With him skyrocketing in popularity, he got chances to play with other huge streamers such as High Distortion, Ninja, Pokimane, and more, which once again boosted his view count. And then, on one fateful day, he was chosen by TSM Myth to join the pro team alongside TSM Hamlins and Camille. The team was thought to be one of the strongest and most competitive teams that had ever been put together. They had some very high expectations. Daquan's views were hitting all-time highs, with him pulling 68.5 million views in just one month. Daquan, Hamlins, Myth, and Camille's all had great chemistry together and mixed well, with their first squad game together being fun and entertaining. Not just for the viewers, but for them also. They would continue to wipe out lobbies as a squad and keep putting out great content, both together and individually. Things were going great, and the TSM YouTube channel had put up each of their backstories as a documentary-esque style video. They also had planned to move to their own house together, meaning that Daquan would stream more with the rest of the team. And while Daquan, Myth, and Hamlins were all moved and settled in, Camille's came in a bit late and would leave shortly after because TSM decided to bench him due to his lack of performance. With Camille's being a strong player in seasons 1 through 3, he lost his touch over time with lack of practice, and the TSM team decided to search for a different fourth player. The departure of Camille's was hard for the team, but they moved past it. It was after this that Daquan decided to open up about his past, where he explained he was so extremely sick to the point where he had to quit his job and could barely perform the functions of a basic human. And despite having gone to several doctors and specialists, no one knew what was wrong with him. This was obviously not easy, and on a stream later that year, Daquan went into detail about his struggles over the past year. He explained that he was sick for three years in a row, causing him to fall into depression and struggle with mental health issues. This seemed to be just a very unfortunate set of circumstances. From the outside, most people thought that everything was perfect, but in reality, it was very hard. And as time went on, Daquan had to make some decisions about his future in Fortnite. While it could be seen that Myth was practicing scrims and his skills for pro events, Daquan and Hamlin's then decided to continue to focus more on their streams and content. It's understandable that the two would rather focus on their stream, as it's likely that's what was earning them the most money. However, Fortnite started to grow their competitive scene, and they hosted their largest event yet, the Summer Skirmish. This had the biggest prize pool that we have seen so far, totaling $1.5 million. After all these struggles, TSM's presence in this tournament was underwhelming to say the least. Myth didn't manage to score even a single point and didn't end up qualifying, and Daquan and Hamlin decided to not even show up, choosing instead to stay at home and stream. This would result in tons of negative feedback from the fans and audience, as TSM Fortnite was hyped up to be one of the greatest teams in the entire pro scene. But none of this took away from the fact that Daquan was still a great entertainer. Despite not having attended the event, the views were still big, and he was still growing on a great scale. However, just as things were going well for Daquan, his mystery illness came back. He tweeted in May 2019 that he had a really bad stomach ache and that he doesn't know the cause. But just two months later, things were looking up when he started to tweet that his mental health was getting better and he would be back soon. After this, another month and a half went by and then he finally went live again. Alongside this, he also dropped a YouTube video detailing where he had been. In this, he had explained that he had lost some close friends and family. Finally, after this, the light began to shine in the dark, 
Things were finally starting to look up, but then he revealed that his girlfriend had contracted E. coli after eating at a restaurant, and it was too late for the doctors to do much of anything about it. With his girlfriend's life on the line, his mental health was too, and he was forced to take a break again. All of this obviously must have been very difficult to deal with, so it makes sense that he was taking all this time off. He would later tweet stating that 2019 was just not his year, and that he'd make 2020 his year and there would be constant streams and uploads in 2020. After two months, he uploaded a Warzone video in February, and a tweet about him not having any toilet paper. Then, he disappeared off the face of the internet, until seven months later where he posted on Instagram and Twitter saying that he's been feeling better. Following that, Daquan and Hamlin's both revealed that they had joined NRG, and were living in their stream house. But this house also ended up splitting up after only five months. Daquan would go on to post a video talking about the reasons behind the split in a total of six streams in 2022. And that would be the last that we heard of Daquan to this day. The reason for his disappearance is ambiguous, but with him struggling through mental health issues and just general health issues, it's hard to say if he'll be making a comeback. Especially when it's so clear how hard this journey has been for him, there's really no telling how someone would react to all this. As a viewer, it's important to remember that he is a real human being and needs to do what's best for his health. And until we hear something from the man himself, it all remains a mystery. We can speculate all that we want, but no one has a definitive answer. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think he's going to come back? And if so, when? Thank you for watching to the end of this video.